What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel, Agent Diesel, shaken not stirred. How you doing, folks? We are back in the Black Watchmen, and I got like an influx of subscribers, and I believe it's from people watching the Black Watchmen, because everyone's been like, yo, where's episode 5 at, dog? And I'm like, yo, I just got a job, and sometimes uh, these puzzles can take me 10 minutes, they can take me 10 hours. Uh, it's just finding the time. So I am making more episodes, just keep your pants on, you know what I'm saying? Don't get, you know... All kinds of bugs in your butt, okay? But I have completed Mission 7 Wiretap. It's a very interesting one because it happened. Uh, the first part has to do with some hockey. I'm a hockey fan, so I was all about it. So let's replay the mission. I've already completed it because it took me oh, a while. So let's replay this mission. Ooh. The spot looked no different than any other in the valley. The only reason the detectives were combing the desert was because the cadaver dogs had picked up the smell of decomposition. Finally, the search for the missing There has been an update in the Rosenberg Clinic case. Listen to the new audio intel in the archive regarding their experiments and determine the focus of their research. To its inevitable end, this is what we signed up for. This is the work we do. Interesting. And gross. Let's close out of you. Hmm. So... Mission 7, wiretap. The conversation recording of... So let's start this bad boy right here. Now, the conversation recording of Dr. Nathaniel's phone conversation in archive determined the focus of the experiments at the Rosenberg Clinic. So you click on here, it's intel from one of the field agents. It's like, Mike here from surveillance, team 7631769. While you were pushing pencils over at the D over at Division 79, uh, headquarters melting pot me and my team have been busy monitoring the MDR 9VG facility after a few nights with nothing to report We finally found something useful. We recorded a phone call between MDR 9VG and a third party No intel on who was on the other side of the call, but it seems important So I uploaded it for you to work on the six-digit call number in the archive is Actually, this would be more fun. You guys sit around cracking codes all day, right? So here you go dot dot dash dot dot dash dot dot and here are the hints the clues the first that hung from the raptors of the CSKA ice palace second 1983 round of Calder's oldest player and number of Soviet titles from the father if you are as smart as the brass thinks you are that should be a breeze enjoy your desk job agent Mike Grisha jerk okay so the first that hung from the raptors of the CSKA Ice Palace. CSKA Ice Palace is one of the places where the Red Army used to play their uh, their Soviet games. You know, Miracle on Ice, that type of stuff. So we hop on in. Whoops. Hey, how's it going? And we just type in into the wiki. Someone's outside. It's super early in the morning. They're all everyone's going to work. CSKA Moscow, or just even CSKA Moscow. It's in the title below. And you can go down here to the bottom and. Moscow retired players, when they say the term hung from the rafters, whenever your jersey is hung from the rafters, that means that you have, they're retiring your jersey number. So that means that no other player can use your jersey number for the rest of time or until they just say, we ran out of numbers. So the first one that is in the archive right here, the first one to ever be retired was in 1967 to 1981. So in 1981... That's the earliest one was Valery Karlamov, number 17. So make sure you write that down. Now, so that's 17. Okay. Now, don't enter, like, I'm just entering this in for the funsies. Okay. Just for funsies. 1983 round of Calder's oldest player. The Calder Trophy is the league NHL's uh, highest, highest rank. And Sergei Makarov was the oldest player to ever win the Calder Trophy at the age of 31. It's not, it's the uh, Rookie of the Year award. He won it at the age of 31 because he uh, was finally allowed to play in the NHL. Soviet, uh, you know, Soviet Russia gave him permission to finally become a part of the NHL in 1989 with the Calgary Flames after they had drafted him in 1983 but they wouldn't allow him to play for it. So he won the award, the rookie uh, the rookie season, the rookie award, Calder Trophy, in 1989 at the age of 31. So that is the NHL's oldest rookie of the year. And the year that he was drafted was actually in 1983 and wasn't allowed to play for 
any of the uh, for any of the Calgary Flames because there's only one. Wasn't allowed to play for the Calgary Flames until 1989, but in 1983 was when he was drafted in the 12th round overall. 12. Boom. So we go over here, and you type in 12. Dash. Now, number of Soviet titles from the father. This refers to the father of Soviet Russian hockey, Anatoly Tarasov, coach of the Red Army. The Red Army hockey team. And then you go out to the bottom of the wiki, and at CSK Moscow, he won 19, 19 times. 19 Soviet titles, including all but five from 1955 to 1975. So, 19. Now, here's where a lot of people are getting hung up on this. Because they keep on hitting this, and they're like, submit, wrong. And they're like, oh, maybe it's a different kind of number. Maybe it's different, I don't, I don't know. I don't well, well, I, I guess it's the same number. Read the conversation. The conversation recording of Dr. Nathaniel's phone conversation is in the archive. Determine the focus of the experiments. And even in here, it tells you, hey, we got this phone conversation, it's in the archive, but oh wait, I'm just gonna give you, I, he was gonna give us the code, but then gave us a bunch of little, little tricksies to get through that. So, let's take this code. Exactly how it is, 17-12-19, copy. Hop over here, I have to hop into this one because the archive, for some reason, in my game, like, it does weird things. So, archive.blackwatchman.com, type in the archive number, and it gives us a phone conversation. So let's listen in. And now what we have to do is we have to focus on the, uh, Determine the focus of the experiments at the Rosenberg Clinic. So we're trying to figure out what the dealio is, what they're focusing on. Ready, set, play. Hello? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. Uh, ho hold on. Just let me get the door. All right. Uh, I'm doing well, thanks. And yourself? Uh, excellent. I think you were in Egypt the last time we spoke? Morocco. And how was it? Uh, that's too bad. I, I hope you had a day to yourself, at least. <laughs> I guess that's business. But personally, I have to get out of the city. Uh, my family and I go camping as often as we can manage. No, no, no. We've got a camper. Um, uh, mostly upstate New York, Vermont. Uh, we were in Maine last weekend. It is. It, it really, really is. All right, so where should we begin? Uh, preliminary results, uh, inconclusive, but I... Th uh, of course. Y yes, of course. Uh, my team is working hard to do these. Th there's no doubt in my mind. Uh, we're getting closer. I, I, I'm optimistic that a breakthrough is just... A, a proof? Well, well, I'm a doctor, and you can take my word for it. No, no, of course. Assurances? I'm aware, but yes, I understand the cost. But you need to understand the time it takes, especially when dealing with samples as unique as the... Rosenberg. Yes, yes, I know, but, but how long did it take him? The fire took everything, so we're starting from scratch here. Uh, of course, y yes, yes, we're making progress. Uh, the samples... Uh, the, the more testing we do, uh, the more extraordinary they become. Uh, I couldn't believe it when we got the dates back. Uh, bone marrow only remains usable Clue. days after death. Not Clue. Uh, I was positive there was a mistake. So I had, I had them run it through again. Uh, the, the results came back the same. Yes, that's what we're working on. The blood cells are active. Stem cells are intact, uh, aside from their longevity. There's, there's nothing particularly unusual about them. But then when... 
I will. Yep, next week. Th thank you. Yes, of course. Of course. Goodbye. Looks like Dr. Doctorton is getting a little frustrated. Now, did you hear what the uh, the main focus is? The samples? They was talking about bone marrow. That was the sample. So, the code... Don't worry about the code here. The focus of the experiment at the Rosenberg Clinic, he was talking about bone marrow samples. Bone marrow. Hubble. Now, we go back to the mission. We're 50% completed. Improved methods. Recent emails from Dr. Nathaniel to unknown parties suggest a new, more effective substance in use. Uh, in substance in use. Determine the state of the new substance. So let's start now. So it gives you a whole little rule briefing here. Um, email exchange. It says everything's going well. And then it gives you a bunch of different, like, looks like battles. Different little war battles. Which, by the way, in the British, all these are losses, by the way. So you can log that into your, to your, you know, to the bay. But how I figured this out, and I thought state, the state of the new substance. Chemistry is your friend in this, folks. When you go with chemistry, there are three states. Okay? Okay? States of matter. Solid, liquid, gas. This is how I figured it out. Okay? You type in solid, nothing, gas, nothing, liquid. That's all I did. Like that, uh, just when it says the state of a new substance, state refers to a chemical, uh, chemical composition. States of matter, I typed in the three that were there, and I got liquid. So, that's how it, real, real hard for me, you know? <laughs> the hardest part was the first part. Uh, just trying to get through all the different numbers, and then realize that I was typing in the, uh typing in the archive number into the like um, why isn't this working like into the end thing and it wasn't working and I was getting very very frustrated so mission 7 wiretap completed and then mission 8 the substance is going to be our next episode so once again I apologize for the uh, the lack of episodes these things sometimes can take me a little I'm very I'm very burpy today I'm very burpy in the morning I haven't had my coffee need more coffee need more coffee so like I said um these are the I'm getting different you know I'm getting mails mails yeah I'm getting stuff in the mail I'm getting uh, phone calls now by the way too and emails for new missions so we can actually start making vlogs about this series about how going out to different areas and completing these missions and what we have to do to become the greatest secret agent that no one should know about but everyone knows just like Bond James Bond or not so folks, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, hit like. If you want to see more of the videos I have on my channel, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night. Peace out, like, shout, and I will check you out right here again in the Black Watchman next time.